Hi, my name is Emily Goldman. I'm 29 and I'm expecting my first child on May 20th. I don't really have anything to compare it to since it's my first, but I feel like I've been really lucky. I feel like it has been pretty easy. I didn't have any morning sickness. Um, it's just now getting to the point where it's kind of uncomfortable and I have a little bit of heartburn and a little bit of trouble sleeping, but I'm at the end now, so I, I feel like I've, I've been really lucky in that compared to what I've seen other people go through, it's, it's been really easy. Well, I've done a lot of reading, um, which sometimes you know, a little bit of knowledge is dangerous, so my doctor probably thinks I'm crazy because I ask him all these questions about what I've been reading about. Um, but that, that's helped me really know what to expect, especially for the labor and delivery and, and just in, in the beginning how, how it's going to be, you know, when, when the baby come, comes home. My husband, on the other hand, is a firefighter and his form of research has just been talking to the guys. So he <laughs> comes home and, and I'll say something and he'll be like, oh yeah, the guys were telling me about that. So, which I think is really funny. He's not a reader like me, so he kind of relies on me to give him a lot of information. but. Um, but that's okay. And we, we've also taken a birth class, which was kind of an eye-opener for him. I expected everything because I had already read all about it, but he, as they were walking through the process of how labor was actually going to be, kind of was a little wide-eyed. But, um, but I'm glad that we did it because now he knows what to expect. Um, and we also have a doula, which is a birth coach, um, for the actual labor part of it. I'm going to try to have a natural birth, and so um, the doula is... Uh, a coach mostly for pain management. First of all, the reason why we're keeping it a surprise is because I didn't want to know the, the sex of the baby, and my husband really did. It's a little boy. Um, he was adamant about finding out, so that was kind of the compromise. Um, he said that I could keep the name a secret so that I would have something new to tell when he gets here um, if, if we could find out what it was. Um, and we decided, we kind of put together, he's a junior, and I definitely didn't want a third. Sorry mom. Um, but we used some elements from his name and the process was really funny because I came up with all the, all the ideas and he just said no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like you can't veto everything, you have to come up with, with something if you're just going to say no all the time. Um, but I, I said one name and he went, hmm. I was like that's it, you didn't say no. <laughs> I really have no idea, but I'm kind of preparing myself for the worst. Um, I mean, I think it's going to be, you know, miraculous and wonderful and everything, but I think it's going to be a big change and a lot of hard work and, and little sleep and I'm pretty realistic about it. I think it's going to take a while to get on a schedule and I think it'll be fine. Um, I think it's just going to be kind of crazy in the beginning. Um, I think staying active, like I said before, is, is one of the, the biggest things that has helped my pregnancy go smoothly. And obviously learning as much as you can so that it doesn't come as a surprise. So you know what to expect as, as you're going through you know, labor and delivery in the first few weeks. And, and uh, they sell up and they're putting ice cream at Publix.